Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down another booster cracking and today we are jumping back into some Wii Cross, but not just any Wii Cross, we're jumping back into the English set, Interlude Diva, the first English set to be printed for Wii Cross. It's been a lot of fun, we already opened up one of these boxes, if you haven't checked out that video make sure to go do that, it was a lot of fun. And I'm expecting good things from this one as well, so let's open this bad boy up and see what we can find. Alright, you already know what it is. We are bumping the camera already to get things started. We've got our little punch out cards that I still don't know what they're really used for. And we're gonna get into the packs. First packs first, so let's go and see what's in this one here. I gotta try to remember what the nice like secrets are and stuff, but as we found out, the nice sign cards are a little bit more common than we thought although some of them still have value just depends on what we can find here so we got crimson evil we got an l card we got ng level three that should be pretty good actually that might have some value although it's not like foil or anything and bang there we go straight away into one of these sideways cards i gotta remember what everything is that's right so this is a peace card a nice looking peace card to say the least very nice i got this one in the last one it has a few bucks value so i will take it next up let's go and see what we can find in this one um let's see now for the st cards i didn't know what they meant last time thank you to whoever commented below i forget who it was but it is for the starter decks that's what it stands for so cards that are in the starter decks that they also included into the actual sets it itself i guess so we got terra beast full art and it is a nice rare so not bad not bad sloth phantom terra beast Ooh, these cards kind of feel like they're warping a little bit in the ba the box themselves. I'm trying not to like give it away, but eh, I don't know. They just feel like they're they're already starting to warp a little bit. These aren't like super high quality Force of Will cards, but they are not. They're not bad. They're not bad, really. Uh, Umer Shatter there, and then bang! Look at that one. That's a Diva Direct card with a signature. That might be huge, actually. That might be actually pretty dang huge. We might've just hit a really, really nice pull, a direct diva card. So with the signature, dang, it is a parallel. We're hitting all the marks with this one. This one is gonna be a top pick for me so far because I think this one should have a lot of value. This should be pretty, pretty dang good. I'm very excited about this one. This one looks awesome too. Great looking card, great looking artwork, awesome signature, great foiling. Fan flipping tastic. They put like all the good packs right up on top. I feel like, what was it last time? We got like a nice secret rare, like four or five packs in. It wasn't very deep in the box. I just put all the nice stuff right there on top. And let's see what we got. We got Liza level two, a very beautiful card there. Behind it, code, and then bang, look at that common. Sarah Hokusawa Kawa Hoshi Kawaii, code 2434 beautiful looking common signature card though wonderful looking i really like that very very nice but you can see they are starting to warp a little bit you can it's got some give already which is unfortunate that they're already starting to warp and i just opened them i must not be keeping these boxes in the proper humidity and conditions i guess i don't really know I don't know if that matters or not. You know, they're just in my in my house. Tokyo level three, beautiful card. We got that in a nice, awesome looking. Did we get that signed? I can't remember if we got that signed, but we got Phantom Aquatic Beast as our nice little foil. Just a common but dope looking character. Next up, let's see it. Let's go, let's go. We got the Jade Evil right there. We got little, what is that, Terra Beast again? Okay. Crimson, we got whatever her name is. We got Irma Clear. I don't know how to say her name. And I see it flashing. What do we got? Another nice piece card. And this one has a little bit more value, I believe. I think the other one was like $3. This one's like possibly five. Uh, you know, English sets, the prices are gonna fluctuate a little bit, obviously. It was tough to find good sellers selling singles of these cards, so I did an average between a couple different websites for the last video. I'll probably do the same again this time. You guys gave me some potential websites to go to that are selling singles, but I just compared a couple websites last time for an average out of where things were kind of landing as far as secret rares and all the nice cards, so. Expect that trend to continue until we get like TCG player on board with actually putting these on the site which i'm kind of shocked they wouldn't now that it is in english and it is pretty popular i'm i'm wondering like what is in the works for that or if it is in the works at all i don't know let me know if you guys know anything about that if we cross will eventually be added to tcg because now we're going to be going on 
the next English set, which is Glowing Diva, that'll be coming out in just a few weeks, actually. I don't know if I pre-ordered, I forget, but we got a very nice Amino Acid Natural Bacteria Queen, which we did get last time, I believe. Did we get it in the full art? Can't remember, but a very, very beautiful looking super rare, a dope looking character art piece. Very, very cool. Next one, let's see it, let's see it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got the Aquatic Beast on top, Asura Evil. Pretty sweet card, actually. I like her, I like her vibes. She's got some nice coloring on it. All right, we got that girl, Fuyuka, Kang Ning, and then we got Marie Gundo, 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 Taui, Tree, I don't know, but then we got Marie Gundo over here with the signature card in the rare. Very, very nice. Don't recognize this one from like the hot list here of cards that do go exceptionally well. But it's a very nice, very nice artwork. Very nice signature. I'll take it. Where's our secret? I believe we're guaranteed one secret per box. At least that's what I'm I'm hoping. Uh, so we got a battle beat here. We're going to keep digging through and see if we can find it. I just pulled from one side of the box. So we still got like the top packs from the other side that we got to go through. Look at, look at that. Bang, bang. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Rina Yorumi. Three, two, four, three, four, with the signature, with the rare, beautiful. That is cool, she's got like a haunted little bunny doll thing. Pretty sick, I like it. Next up, let's do this thing, and we'll go into the crystal, the maze, the whatever, Angie level one. No one cares about the level ones, we want the level threes. Angie level, what was that, level two? And then bang, another signature. A very cool signature too, very unique. We got Ratna Petite, code two, four, three, four. Another rare, another rare signature. Pretty nice. She's she's cool too, man. She's got some, is that a big axe? Or is that a mallet too? Is that the mallet girl again that I got wrong last time? I can't even remember. Half the box is gone. So let's go into the final half. We're cranking, we're just cranking through. We're trying to just blaze through and find the nice stuff here, which you know I'm perfectly fine with. We got a Cluster Draw, a what? Bronze Natural, Kawani, a Neon Tetra, High Circus, pretty dope card. And we got Tokyo Level 2. Behind it, we got Arms Alma, Code 2434, in the Super Rare. I believe we got her last time. This is the Mallet Girl I was talking about. I couldn't tell it was a Mallet, but nice card. It does have a little bit of value, so. Yeah, I'll take. Next up, let's go. This one was trying to scoot around in the pack a little bit, so I had to tuck it down so we weren't ripping cards while opening the pack. Let's see, we got Creation Tone, and we got Sloth, and we got a Twee Burst, and we got Shub Shub over here, the Crimson Evil Queen. That's a yeah. nice, super rare. We did get her last time, but I do not mind because she's an awesome card, so that is a good one to get. I can't remember if she's like five bucks, three bucks, or seven bucks. One of the three, I'm guessing. Maybe more. Maybe her price went up. That would be cool, but we'll see. I've gotten a couple doubles already with these boxes, so I don't know. Maybe that's, you know, more people open these doubles, uh, the less that price goes down because it's more in the market. So we got Bang Lies, level two, a new one, a nice L card, though. And the L cards can put a price tag on these pretty nicely, but she looks pretty sweet. I don't know about this little duck bird thing with the Trojan helmet, a Spartan helmet. I don't know. That, yeah, not a huge fan. Not a huge fan of this dude. <laughs> Next up, let's do this here. We're going in and we're getting the Jade Evil again. Cool card. Uh, was that Melissa or something? I don't know. Mao, Matsukutsuki, Angie. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't fly through these packs and try to pronounce the names. It's just impossible for me, but bang. Another L card. Another foil L card. Tokyo level two in the assist. Very nice. Look at that artwork. Love the color choice they did with this one with all the flowers. Very, very pretty card. Very cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's all I can say about these things, you know? And I wouldn't be wrong. Do you disagree? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think of this set? What do you guys think of the artwork? Bang, we've got a Yazuki signed rare card again. We did get her last time. Another double, but okay, that's fine. I think she's decent, actually. Next up, we're going in, and we've got the Nord. Probably, it's probably just Nord. That J is probably silent. Melissa, Otomaru, we got the Alt Repair, High Circus skin, and then Angie, level zero, heck yeah, and it's signed. Now, this is a ST card, so it is a starter card, but I believe we got Angie level zero, 
in just the normal full art and she actually had some value. So getting her with a signature is actually gonna be pretty nice, I believe. This was a weird card to try to even look up. Not a lot of people had it in just the normal full art. So that plus a signature, this might be pretty decent. Start deck card with the signature. Kind of weird, kind of weird, you know? But they wanted to give some parallel variants in the box set, it would seem, because all the ones in just the starters are just the plain normal cards, so spice it up in the set itself. We've got Hanuma here, a very nice super rare, pretty dope sword she's got there too. Nice flowers, nice. I love how they kind of try to match the foiling a little bit with the color scheme, it seems like. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, it's probably not the case, but this one matches very well with the holographic. Oh, we've only got three packs left. It's crazy. We just balled through this box like nobody's business. Bronze, Sister Circus, the Tree Froggy, Silly Card. We've got Umorti, Key to Salvation, and then we got the Phantom Aquatic Beast with In Wonderland signed yeah. ST card. So the starter deck card, really sick. I don't remember this from a starter deck. I don't know about this. It's the anime girl with the very realistic cat. A little odd, a little odd, but it's still a cool card. You just kind of do that, do one of these. That's how you look at the card. Cover up the silly cat, keep the anime girl. She looks pretty sweet, you know, I'll take it. Let's go, let's go. Second to last pack. And we haven't found a secret yet. So where is this thing hiding? Could it be in the last pack? Could it be in this one? Are we guaranteed it one per box? I kind of assumed we did, so I don't know. Super rare, Yogg-Sothoth, very nice. Code Labyrinth, we did get this one in the last box, but sick, sick card. Very nice card, good like five bucker, I believe, so not bad. Maybe you only get a secret guaranteed in the box or like Diva Direct, because we did get that Diva Direct card. So now I'm thinking maybe you are just guaranteed like a secret or a Diva Direct signature card or something, like something equally as nice to the secret. But this is the last pack and you know you never know what we're gonna find here at the end so let's see it is not a secret but it is an l card an l card yeah. full art hollow all at at reminder very cool very cool but i don't think it's too crazy i don't know let's get into some pulls of the day so quick recap here with some of our nice rare cards a signature here non-signature here but i just like this card so i'm gonna put it in we'll see how much the value is on that one but again another nice signature this one should have some nice value on it i believe let's get into the super rares some dope dope super rares from what i can remember this one had value this one's a new one so i'm tossing it in there it's a super rare it's dope you know Yogg-Sothoth, I know it has a little bit of value and it's a dope card, so I like to include it. Our L card here, this is my pick for a nice L card foil. Tokyo level two, very sweet. And then we get into the ST cards, the starter deck cards. We got the signature Angie Katrina, Angie level zero. Very nice signature card here. Very, very cool. High hopes for this one. And then I put this one in too. I put in the cat. We don't like the cat, but it is a cool card and it is a nice signature card. So we will see, but let's go into the big hit of the day. It's the Diva Direct card, Umer Key to Salvation, signed, hollow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card, really dope. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping this one has some really good value. I'm gonna have to see, I haven't looked it up yet, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, let me know in the comments below do you want more Wii Cross? I have more sets from past from the Japanese sets. I've got another one of Interlude Diva, and I'm hoping to get some glowing Diva 2 here. So if you're excited for that and want to see more openings, comment below, share the video, leave a like, and that will help me decide whether I keep continuing with the unboxings of Wii Cross. There has been interest, and I appreciate it, guys. So keep on subscribing, and we will see you in the next one.